like to do is sit down with our multicultural uh, committee and hear what their side is and how, what their feelings are and just listen for a little bit. Um, I, I obviously am going to be newer on this side um, of the listening ears and would love to hear those who have been, uh, who have experienced this for far longer than the 10 years that I've been uh, immersed in Garland ISD and as well as, of course, the expenditure side of it as well. I do know that there's districts that are seeking unitary status, but um, I, I think some research behind it would be good. At the meeting, if you notice, there was a lengthy discussion in terms of that figure started out much higher than what we brought it down to. It started out with 600, and then we had a modification and brought it down to our 300. But the issue that we're trying to resolve is we want accurate data of the green factors that must be present for you to even move to the next level of declaring unitary status. That's with our recruiting, it's with our facilities, it's with the achievement gap closing, and we want to make sure that when we decide that this is what we want to do, we wanted all of that information and all of that data present. So when we go out and approach the NAACP who brought the lawsuit, that they will not come back and say, you have not satisfied all of this. We need to make it a priority, and if we make it a priority, then we can eliminate the long span of time, and we could possibly reduce that $150,000.